First, turn off the power. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I'll take off the top cover, the bottom cover, and the burner cover. As you can see, there aren't that many parts and it's fairly easy to understand. Here are the burners, one, two, three, four, five, that work just like an outdoor grill, basically. This is the gas valve that turns on and off the gas that runs to the burner. This is an exhaust fan to make sure that all the burned gas gets blown out. This is a lid switch that won't let the unit run with the bottom lid off. In here is the blower motor that blows heat to the entire house. And right there is the controller board or brain that runs the whole thing. There's one more component hiding in here and it's a pressure switch to make sure that all the pressures are right for the furnace to operate safely. I've disabled the safety switch so we can see the furnace operating with all the lids off. So if we call for heat, the first thing that happens is the exhaust fan turns on and that'll run for about 30 seconds. Two things will happen next. One, there's a glow igniter in there that's going to glow red hot and this valve is going to kick on and blow gas across it which will ignite all the burners. As soon as the system has enough heat, the blower motor kicks on. And we're now heating the house.